Good day, cricket fans. Welcome back to the Cricket Analyst. I am your host, Rishab Jain. Today, we have got an absolute cracker for you. The Australia vs. Pakistan third test match at the iconic Sydney Cricket Ground. And before we dive into the juicy details, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss any Michael cricket updates. Now, we, when we talk about the SCG, there is a historical fact that adds the layer of intrigue to this match. Did you know the Pakistan team hasn't won a test match at the SCG since 1995? Yep, that's a whooping 27 years there. Haven't been able to win a test match at the SCG. The pitch down under has been the quite challenge for them. In fact, they have lost five test matches out of seven and have been only managed to win two of them since the starting, they have started to play with Australia at the SCG. Will this be the year they break the streak? We have to find that out. But before we dig deeper into the teams, let's take a moment to acknowledge a legend. This test marks David Warner's fable at the SCG. It start, it's where he started his cricket. And now he's finishing his cricket by playing his last test match before his retirement from both test matches and the ODI cricket. Now, if you are wondering about S, uh, SCG record, Warner's SCG record, it's nothing short of spectacular. In 11 matches, he has put 793 runs at an average of 49.56, including four centuries. Talk about leaving a mark on your home ground. He's a person for you. And in this match, I guess he will be scoring a lot of runs because it's his last test match. There will be no monkey on his back. He's he will be feeling no pressure, and the way he has played, he played in the first test match. I think he will be continuing his form in this test match as well. And now let's shift our focus to the burning question surrounding this test. Because first up, Pakistan will Pakistan drop Imam Al Haq after his decent and recent low scoring performances. It's a tough decision for the team management because. Considering the important uh, importance of this test match, and they won't want to add three zero to their label and Shan Masood especially. This is his start of his captaincy, and he won't want to go out of Australia without a test match victory under his name. So we have to see how Pakistan team management will work around that, make changes in this test match, and which brings me to the second point, which is will Pakistan play a Two spin attack with three uh, pacers as well uh, going with them. So the pitch at SCG usually uh, supports spinners and Nathan Lyon could be a game changer. But if Pakistan decides to play two spinners, it might give them an edge. And now let's talk about the unpredictable Aussie weather. The rain has been a quite a, quite haunting the teams uh, and the people in the southeast of uh, Queensland as well as in New South Wales for a couple of days. And the forecast, the good news is the forecast indicates no rain on day one. But the twist is the rain is expected on day two and day three as uh, usually during this time of the year. And how will this affect the strategies of both the team? Will Pakistan go for a four-pace attack seeing the, uh, the conditions, the weather conditions? You have to watch and uh, wait and watch. But talking about the probable playing 11s, I would say Australia will go without any changes. And if we talk about uh, Pakistan, they might, as I told you, they might go for a two-spin and three-pace attack. And Imamul Haq might get his last chance before he's dropped from the test team. So we have to see that how Australia will lead with that. And uh, will Pakistan be able to break the KCD curse or will Australia continue their dominance at home? This will be the major question. And share your predictions in the comments below. And let tell me like what all do you need with the videos and everything so that I make the content which you love and I love to do. So go for the comment section, fill it up and let me know about your predictions. And that's all for now, folks. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button as well. And share this video with your cricket loving mates. And stay tuned for more exciting cricket content as this is the new years. And I'm bringing you new content all the time. So. Until next time, this is your host, Rishabh Jain, signing off and catch you on day one of the test match. Thank you.